the blue trunk with the gold strike and weighing 203 and one half pounds, 13 and one, Wendell the Spoiler Bailey. Bailey. Well, you're looking at Wendell Bailey, who's 25 years old, from evening. Baltimore, Maryland. In the red corner, from the city of brotherly love, Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, wearing black trucks with the white stripes and weighing 235 pounds even. Jimmy Young. Young. And the crowd really amazed at that 235. Uh, you can see on your screen, he is round at the yeah. moment. Young, Young wanted to protest that announcement. I think he's a little vain. <laughs> but looking at him now, I not only wonder if he's in his eighth or ninth month, but whether he's wearing a B or a C cup. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'll tell you one thing. Bailey's going to find out in a hurry, because Bailey looks like the type that will go right to Young's belly, because that's where it is. It's all down there, and uh, Jimmy Young is about, I would say, 30 pounds overweight. Maybe 25, but certainly uh, he is 25, if not 30. Here's the bell for round number one. Young facing you. Bailey on the left. Now Bailey is facing you. And uh, it'll be interesting to see, Larry, what Bailey will do. Bailey, 13 wins out of 14 fights. Young in your left. Bailey with his back to you. Young, of course, far more experienced, but also obviously not in the best of shape. Look at those rolls of fat over the trunk, would he? Look at that. Look at that body on that Bailey. I think as Larry Merchant pointed out, uh, the best thing for Bailey to do is not to try to knock Young out. There was a nice and slow. An interesting combination. His first combination that Bailey threw was a, a right left followed by a right to the stomach. Bailey on your left is 26, Young is 30. Bailey at 203 and a half, Young at 235. And you can see every ounce of it. Well, he's got to go to the body, no question about that. The referee is Billy Graham, former great. Jimmy is cute. Young is a little bit more positive and aggressive in, in this round than uh, he ordinarily is, Len. And it's my suspicion that he wants to let his uh, younger opponent know that he's in there with somebody across. He got tagged with a left, and he blinked and staggered him. He got hurt with that punch, no question about it. And he was smart enough to get out of there in a hurry. Well, as I was saying, he was coming in and being aggressive, and just as I said it, uh, an uncharacteristic way for him to fight, and uh, he got nailed. Always happens. Yeah. Young on your left, Bailey on your right. And I tell you, if Young loses, he's going to be in a bad way insofar as uh, commanding any sizable amount of money to fight. Right now, Bailey should be pressing forward and... and uh, going on the attack, tiring his man out. Young can't punch very hard, can't hurt him. He is dazed himself. Uh, the inexperience of Bailey right now perhaps is costing him a chance for a sensational victory that would launch him right into the thick of the heavyweight picture. He might be a little overawed by the... Well, I think he may be overawed, and he shouldn't be. He just, he just really hurt this man. It'd take him a round or two maybe to get rid of the nervousness. We'll see how he moves along here. There's only four seconds left in the opening round of the scheduled 10 round. There's the bell, and that's the end of the first one. Wendell Bailey fight. It'd be interesting to know what the corner of Wendell Bailey advised him to do. Uh, they may feel uh, that if Bailey can press him and, uh, and stay with him, that at Young's weight, that he will uh, get tired in the fifth or sixth round, and then uh, for the younger fellow to come on. 
I tell you, you raise an interesting point, Larry. If I were working Bailey's corner, I would tell him to play it cool for three or four rounds and see what Young does. He's got all the time in the world. It's a 10 rounder. The guy obviously is out of shape, Jimmy Young. And as you can see, Bailey is not. And I would say anywhere from the fourth or fifth round on, as Young starts to tire, then Bailey should move in. But right now, I would play it kind of cool. Just jab and box and see what the heck Young has got to offer. The first round, of course, is always a feel-out round. And uh, Jimmy Young on the right is the veteran. And he's got the experience. And Wendell Bailey, now on your right, might be a little overawed by the reputation of a Jimmy Young, who, after all, has boxed Ken Norton and uh, Muhammad Ali. So that might have a bearing on, on the boy. Let's see what he does. He's Wendell Bailey from Baltimore, Maryland. And he's 203 and a half. Well, if he's a boxer who will be reckoned with, he shouldn't have respect for Young, but he should not be in awe of him, particularly after he showed that with one punch, uh, he could stagger him and daze him. This would be quite a feather in his cap if he can uh, beat Jimmy Young on the left. Young is getting around $20,000 for this fight, which is uh, far off some of the six-figure purses he was getting when he was fighting the top heavyweights. He's almost eating himself out of contention. Well, at least he has enough money to eat. <laughs> As the fight progresses, you might see Bailey gain in confidence. It'll be interesting to see how he uh, steps up his offense. 50 seconds left to go in round number two of a scheduled 10-rounder between Jimmy Young facing you and Wendell Bailey with his back. Good sneak right by Young there. He's got a good sneak right hand. We're counting down now in round number two. It doesn't hurt, of course, for Bailey to lean on Jimmy as much as he can. seconds left in round number two. Billy Graham separates them. And we're coming up to the bell. Thank you, Larry, but I I'm slightly disappointed in Jimmy Young's um, physique, uh, whereas Wendell is uh, terrifically uh, awesome, like heavyweight should be. This man uh, has not been training like he should, I suspect. My, one of my favorite fighters, too, Jimmy Young. I'm I'm, uh, I'm worried about him. I hope that he uh, that he's in better shape than he looks. We're going to find out, Brian, because it looks like Wendell has been ordered to step up his attack as uh, we move into the third round. Right now, I would say that this fight is really more of a test of Wendell Bailey than Jimmy Young. Uh, right now, we want to see if Wendell Bailey has the stuff to be a heavyweight uh, of distinction, a heavyweight who uh, carries his weight. Uh, he should beat this man. And uh, if he goes to the attack and asserts his, uh, his youth and his uh, conditioning, uh, he's somebody we want to look at again. A minute 56 to go in round number three of a scheduled 10 between Jimmy Young and Wendell Bailey. Young on your left and Bailey on your right and Billy Graham in between and watching him closely. <laughs> Young is uh, trying to pull Bailey into the corner. He's laying on him. Trying to use that weight to some advantage. <laughs> Short chopping right did score by Young. But he's giving the youngster something else to think about now with a change of his style, and we'll see if Bailey can solve it. He's working down on Bailey's midsection when he gets the chance. A minute and nine to go in the third round. Jimmy is digging into the body now and scoring. He's pulling an alley on Bailey. That left hook caught him. Caught him again. I have to admit, Larry, I didn't see the punch. Seven, eight. Bailey 
he's all right. He's going to make it, but he took a good left hook, followed by a right and another left. There's that short right, a left, another left and right. A short right, another right. That's it. That's it. That's all over. It's all over. 2.30 of the third round. Roughly a TKO for Jimmy Young. And I want to tell you, the garden crowd is buzzing. 